I lived in Ashland for a couple of years, and when I was there, I worked with a guy named Steve. And uh, Steve was a pretty nice guy, pretty nice to work with, and he helped me a lot uh, when I was learning my job. Uh, but we were sitting at the table one day and talking, and I asked him what he did uh, that weekend. And he said, uh, well, he said he went to the town of Herbster. And <laughs> I thought, Herbster? <laughs> Where is Herbster? So um, I decided I better come and take a look at Herbster, Wisconsin, uh, which is uh, right on the uh, Lake Superior shoreline. Uh, Herbster is a pretty small town, but uh, boy, I'll tell you what, with a view like that, uh, I could see uh, finding a spot here and uh, spending some time. So uh, let's see, we got, um, we'll start out with the specifics of uh, July 17th, 2017. And we got 60 degrees in Herbster today. Uh, we started out flying at 130 feet, and then I just went up to 250. And eventually I'll go up to 400. So right now we're just kind of flying down the road. And kind of getting the hang of things here, seeing how the wind's going to affect the flying. Uh, it turned out to be a fairly windy day today. And now we'll go kind of take a look at the shoreline. And if they, uh, the soil around here is, uh, a lot of it's clay. If they get any rain, a lot of times the runoff will, when it goes into the lake, will turn the lake brown. Uh, in Ashland, this is, re that's really evident, uh, during the spring, um, when you have the spring runoff. And, uh, if they have some uh, bigger rainstorms there, the whole Shawamigan Bay turns really brown. But you can see it on the shoreline here where you have kind of a brown color. Yeah, it looks like there's a little campground there. I drove down that road a little ways, it's really pretty driving along the lake shore. I think probably now Steve would be retired. You know, that's got to be maybe 10 years ago. Looks like there's a couple uh, beachcombers down there walking along the shoreline. Uh, but I'll never forget when he mentioned Herbster there, that kind of became the joke. You know, we were going to go to Herbster and tear up the town. And I think we got a little park coming up. I see play equipment, playground equipment, and some uh, basketball hoops there. And a volleyball hoop. And someone has the unfortunate job of mowing the lawn. Although at 60 degrees, it probably wouldn't be too bad. That's actually um, having the temperature at 60 degrees. Um, I kind of forgot how hot the sun was and never put on any sunscreen. So I'll be suffering for about the next three days unfortunately. And what we'll do is fly down Highway 13. Everything seems to be going good, although I can see the trees I can see the leaves blowing from all the way up here. 
So it is uh, pretty windy, but the uh, Phantom 4 is uh, behaving itself very well. Yeah, it looks like a little substation down below. And now we're going to start going up to 400 feet. And we're going to turn around. Look at all those trees. Wow. Logging is actually a pretty, uh, pretty big industry up north. Uh, you could see in the um, Port Wing video there, there was a truck loaded with uh, uh, logs sitting on the side of the highway. So maybe this is where that picnic table you just bought came from. Who knows? And now we're flying back. I think that'd be pretty nice to wake up and look out the window and see uh, Lake Superior. And now we're going to head in the other direction. You can see down below where the water is uh, pretty brown, and that is uh, from water running off and picking up some of that clay. When I lived in Ashland there, whenever you went in the house, you always took your shoes off before you went in because uh, that clay would stick to your shoes like glue. And once it got on the carpet, it tended to want to stain the carpet orange or red, depending on what color of clay you were walking in. And as you were walking across the yard, uh, the clay would stick to your shoes and you'd start getting taller. You'd have to try to kick the clay off the bottom of your shoes without kicking your shoes off. And we're kind of bringing her down now. Got power lines on two sides of me. So I'll kind of get everything lined up so I can come straight down in between them. And so there you have it, Steve. I think I'm done tearing up the town of Herbster.